In this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the ASIC card, who needs one of these, how to apply for one, what they need from you, and how much it costs. Firstly, can I say that ASIC cards aren't the most exciting of topics, but they are a requirement for a lot of us in aviation. So I thought that doing a video on them would give some value to someone who's applying for one for the first time. So if you're new here and you haven't seen any of my other videos, you can check them out on the channel page or you can subscribe down below and ring the bell to get notified of new content. Welcome to Spruce Moose Aviation. An ASIC is an aviation security identification card, which is used to identify someone who has had a background check. An ASIC is required to obtain unescorted access to the security controlled areas of an airport that have regular public transport services. So let's talk about who needs an ASIC card. If your occupation, your business or your flight school require you to have unmonitored access to a secure part of an airport, then you will be required to apply for an ASIC. There are three different types of ASICs. There's a red, a gray and a white ASIC. The red and the gray ASIC are for people who are working or operating within the security areas unattended within an airport. And the white ASIC is for people who have passed a background check, but you're still not allowed to operate or work within those security areas unattended. So how long is an ASIC valid for? For most applicants, the ASIC will be valid for two years, and it's based on when the OzCheck background check is approved. So it will go to the end of the month of whatever date the OzCheck background check was approved. And this also applies for renewals of ASIC cards as well. The card expiry, is printed on the front. So I'll use mine as an example. Um, May 2023. So the end of May, which would be the 30th of May uh, in 2023, this card will expire. In some cases, you can get a shorter expiry than two years, mainly for applicants that are under the age of 18 or have been issued a conditional ASIC. You can now also apply for a job ready ASIC card, which allows you to have a partial payment up front uh, get the ASIC approved, and then once you gain work, then you make the final payment for the full ASIC card. I will cover all the costs of the different types of ASICs later in the video. To apply for a job ready ASIC card, you just complete the application online. Once your background check is approved, you'll be issued a certificate and you can show that certificate to potential employers. So let's cover the application process for an ASIC. The two main providers of ASIC cards are Aviation ID Australia and Veritas. Veritas, whatever, yeah, Veritas. I'll be using these two for the basis of the following information when it comes to the application process. Step one is the online application. It takes about 10 minutes to complete and you'll be asked to provide some information like 10 years of your um, address history, so where you've lived in the last 10 years, your, obviously your ID, so three forms of ID, a passport style photo and your proof your proof of uh, operational need for the ASIC. So either mo most common ones are a letter from your employer or your flight school or your actual pilot's license if you've got one. The second step is your in-person ID check. You also need to choose your preferred location to have your in-person ID check, which does vary slightly between uh, aviation ID Australia and Veritas. I believe that I went through Aviation ID Australia and you get the, you do the ID check when you arrive to pick up your completed ASIC. So they check that the documents you submitted online, you take the originals with you to pick your ASIC up, they check them there and then you get your ASIC signed off. With Veritas, I believe that you go to an Australia Post, they use Australia Post. So you go to an Australia Post, they can certify your documents when you apply for the ASIC and then the ASIC gets sent out in the mail. So either way, you do it at the start or you do it when you pick it up. If you don't have copies with you at the time of your ID, say your birth certificate or your passport, then you can still up, you can still start the application online and then just verify those at a later date. Step number three is the OzCheck approval. OzCheck are an external government department that are responsible for conducting the background checks. They generally take between two to six weeks. Sometimes they're quicker, sometimes they're longer, but it'll all depend, if there's any delays, it'll all depend on OzCheck. So be patient because the providers are normally pretty good at contacting you as soon as they've heard from OzCheck and the background check is complete. Step number four is the delivery of the ASIC. As soon as you've done your background check, 
the provider has received notification from OzCheck, you've done your ID check, then it'll be posted out to the address or the pickup location that you put in your application for the ASIC. Step number five is returning your old ASIC card. You are required to return an ASIC card within 30 days of its expiry, or if you no longer have an operational need for an ASIC card. I'd suggest trying to, I haven't heard of anyone who's been fined for not returning an ASIC card, but I'd suggest sending it back with a new application if possible, or returning it as soon as you get your new ASIC card. The last thing you want, if you need to apply for ASIC cards in the future, is having any sort of delay in getting the new cards sent out. Okay, so how much do ASIC cards cost? Uh, well, it's a little bit more than smashing the like button down below. That's free. And it does help this video reach more people. So if you can do that now, smash the like button, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, so I'll bring the prices of the ASICs up on the screen here for you. The under 18 ASIC card application is $177. We've got a job ready ASIC application for $160 for the background check only with the balance of a full ASIC payable upon card issue. Replacement ASIC card application fee is $99. The white ASIC card application is $190. And the gray and red ASICs are $257. Just remember that these prices are current of this video uh, being posted. Thank you for watching. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'll put the logo up on the screen here for you that you can subscribe with. I'll also leave some videos up on the screen, some links to different videos on the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.